Hello, my dear friends. This is a painter cat. My name is Catherine. Welcome on my tutorial where we will paint a tropical landscape. This landscape I'm painting by request from you, my subscribers, and uh, you are asking to me to paint something close to paintings of Christian Ries Larson. This is a really interesting artist. I love his paintings and it's kind of famous, I must say, because many, many times I saw his paintings as a puzzles, as a paintings by numbers, many colors, really beautiful, uh, well balanced in a composition. And uh, also today I want to talk about uh, painting with acrylic on a um, rough canvas how to paint, how to detail. My canvas today, it's uh, 30, 30 centimeters each side and it's a rough canvas stretched on a frame. It's a cotton with acrylic primer, but I recommend if you want to paint something with a detailing, in the end, uh, I recommend to you put from the start an extra layer of thick white. Uh, coverage of white acrylic no matter right now, just be sure consistency not too thick, it uh, can contain a bit of water in it, just mix it a little bit on your palette, uh, consistency have to be soft still, and I'm covering the whole canvas right now. And yes, I will demonstrate to you difference between painting on top of wet layer of this white and painting on top of the dry layer of extra white. Mm, sky, uh, here we will paint more blended and the painting will go on a wet uh, first white layer and see area will go on top of the dry helping white layer. Uh, so probably you can see right now on the camera um, canvas still wet a little bit, uh, white not dried yet. I'm planning sun, just a spot of future shining sun. You don't have to think about size of the sun, something like that. No, right now, from the start, let's create a beautiful gradient of uh, sunset colors. This tutorial you're watching right now, it's a demonstration version, it's a short one, so here we will talk about main moments, real-time, step-by-step tutorial you can find on my Patreon and all links for it you can see in the description box down below. So let's talk about sunset colors. Uh, I already demonstrated this order I recommend um, on a previous tutorial and uh, let me repeat it again. It's a lemon, it's a yellow medium color after it's gonna be an orange, um, orange I will mix from the vermilion and the yellow medium, then transfer to rose light and uh, to the violet deep. And today, yes, we will use celestial blue, really beautiful color. I like uh, how it's looking in a sunset views. About this painting, and for Christian uh, Ries Larsen, it's kind of common, I'd say. It's a square color harmony. If you will take a look on a Color Circle by Aiton, square harmony, kind of popular, and take a look. We have here two pairs. First, it's a celestial blue goes to lemon yellow, and another, it's a orange goes to violet. The most important thing is, take a look on a red, red color, clear red color, not included in this square harmony, because the opposite color for red, uh, it's a green. 
and if you will include a red clear red for this sunset you will ruin color harmony so I recommend to you if you want to use the red shades here always add a little tiny bit of yellow there let it be really really reddish but still orange you know it's have to be orange color and you can take a look on on uh, my painting right now even if i used a lot of vermilion vermilion by the way by itself have a warm undertone so it sounds really as an orange uh rose color rose light we need it here because orange are uh, not transferring well to violet without any helping colors again it's a, a pair it's a opposite colors from the color ring and uh, if you will mix it together violet and orange you will get a gray in a theory but in the real you will get just a more really unpleasant mix so if you want to go from orange to violet beautifully just pick any color that mixing nicely with orange from the first side and from the second and mixing well with a violet as well rose light take a look it's looking peachy really beautiful with orange and same time it's giving a nice uh, accent to violet i like to use it in this combination and after violet is here we can transfer again i'm using a special helping uh, color for it it's a uh, cobalt blue little bit of cobalt blue between violet and a celestial blue no here in the final painting you will never see those uh, cobalt blue as a clear color again it's just helping to me go beautifully from violet to celestial blue and on top here celestial blue going everywhere take a look how easily colors blending together here it's going like this because i have on the painting layer with white and it's still not completely dry so if you're painting on a rough canvas or you have some issues with a nice and smooth gradient this technique half wet on the painting layer will help you a lot and later I'll demonstrate you how it's going if uh, on the painting layer already dry. Next step here it's clouds and uh, I like to combine different shapes of clouds here. Well, uh, first it's gonna be a cirrus clouds, really light, really shiny. Uh, I like to use yellow colors. Just don't forget to add a little tiny bit of white for better coverage because you're going on top of the blue. If yellow will be too transparent, you'll get a green shade because it's a blue under the yellow, right? Uh, and next shape here, it's a cumulus clouds. This two together, cirrus and a cumulus looking beautiful and kind of random, you know, very natural. For this type of clouds, I recommend to use a um, darker color here. So it's gonna be an orange and a different brush stroke. If for cirrus clouds, I've been painting with a very light brush strokes right i was touching surface of the canvas really light here with the colors i could go with a round and more heavy brush strokes next area here it's a c and uh, before you will paint c at least with a basic colors um, it's not just not possible to understand how sky looking and what details you will need to add for really beautiful final results so let's let's just place some colors for the sea mm, first it's uh, 
really really deep clear violet no black yet yes we will use it but a little bit later now it's just a clear uh, violet color brush flat and smooth it's bland uh, acrylic nice but this time under painting already dried so no any help from the white layer and take a look right now blending going not that smooth and again if you're beginner and if you have any issues with the blending half a wet uh, layer of white will really help you blend gradients easily so let's go with violet i'm using really big amount of acrylic right now because i need to cover this color not just on top but i have to rub it a little bit in the pores of the canvas canvas dry so for rough kind of canvases it can be tricky a little bit and yes you will need more acrylic compared to fine uh, type of canvases i left central line uh, clear and empty because colors here are gonna be much much lighter first it's uh, lemon yellow i'm gonna repeat all the same order that i already used for uh, sunset on the sky first it's a uh, lemon yellow yes and the type of the brush here it's a flat and a uh, slanted this type of brushes have a kind of sharp edge i like it very much it's giving a nice control for brush strokes your brush stroke can be flat and kind of wide from the one um side and if you will turn your brush you'll get a really thin and fine line love these brushes really recommend it to you next color it's a yellow medium i'm going like a zigzag line you know it's not just a uh, flat stripes that are going uh, vertically no it still have a little zigzag uh, shape like this and as soon as violet still staying wet i'm always starting from the center going to the side from the center to the side if you will go right left right left you will blend orange with violet that's for sure try to avoid it if you feel like you blending orange and uh, violet accidentally clear your brush and uh, just go again with clear orange uh, i don't need to spend much time uh, for blending this reflection uh, because on top it's gonna be a uh, waves and uh, waves really far from you you can paint with a thin violet brush stroke big wave you have to give a better shape to it uh, again i recommend flat and slanted brushes it's giving a nice control it's uh, easily creating a wavy line line can be a little bit thicker can be a little bit thinner depends how you turning your brush pull while while you creating this brush stroke it's helping to create a random and beautiful looking line of the wave if you painting planning wave in a center of the landscape you have to go with a dark and violet color if you go on a right and a left on a dark background you have to complete shape of the waves with a light blue as for me it was a mix of a light blue celestial blue plus violet plus a little bit of white and yes here we will have a shining light rays of lights sky area already dried so just use a half dry consistency of acrylic and go with a flat and slanted brush it's really perfect for this type of painting i will blend a bit of orange here well next step it's a detailization for 
sky area for clouds. Brush small, round shape and pointy. And here we already have a really thick layer of acrylic. So all brush strokes, even tiny, will go smoothly. It's really easy to add a uh, beautiful looking details uh, on top of many layers of acrylics. Doesn't matter if it's a fine or rough canvas. Uh, I can recommend to add a little bit of white to yellow uh, to prevent transparency. And uh, also, I can tell you, on the left and the right here, on this composition, we will have a black silhouette. So don't spend too much time for detailing left side and the right side of this landscape, no matter if it's a sky or if it's a waves. You can paint it more common and you can concentrate your attention on a central part. Later, when uh, you will add some silhouettes, you will cover those not really detailed areas and this way you will save a lot of time. And another good, really good moment about black silhouettes in paintings, it's nice for beginners because if you will find that some areas you don't like, maybe details, maybe some shape of clouds, you always have an option cover it with a nicely looking silhouette. It can be flying bird, it can be jumping dolphins, uh, beautiful looking uh, tropical plants, leaves, everything. You know, it can be a human body, beautiful girl with a wavy hair. So many interesting ideas for silhouette paintings. So, yes, we still have to detail a central part. It's a wave, so you are, please add more shiny or light yellow on top of your wave. Before, you just created shadow part of the wave with violet. And uh, right now, it's time to give more uh, reflected colors to the tall part of the wave. It's a... Uh, yellow linen again and after it's a yellow uh, medium and a bit of orange black time for black and i usually don't like this color in paintings because uh you know black can desaturate colors really well you can take a green and if you will try to uh, mix dark green with just a black, you will have a grayish green instead of dark green. So if you want to get a darker looking green, you have to mix there a little bit, maybe a cobalt blue or maybe a violet, something like that, but never black, never try just a simple black. It's working only in a color theory. On a practice, it's not like that. And it's actually why beginners scaring about mixing. But here black, really nice. It's not mixing with other colors here. No, it's really going as a silhouette. Take a look right now. I created mass group of stones on the left side just a silhouette, nothing more. And next it's a palm tree. Here I highly recommend set of different shapes of brushes. There you can find a fork brush, there you can find a fun brush, a zigzag brush. Many interesting brushes that will help you to create interesting looking plants, tropical trees, in a very simple brush strokes. This one, it's a fork brush, perfect for mm, palm trees. It's have, this brush have a double layers of the bristle, first layer short and more thick, and a second layer of bristle longer and more thin. Consistency is important for these brushes because they are soft, long bristle, always requesting more watery and soft consistency. It's uh, 
have to be not runny from your palate, but still very, very soft. In one go, take a look, it's possible to create thin line like this. I'm painting, turned brush pull a little bit, and as soon as I turn it for 45 degrees, going brush stroke by brush stroke from the center of the leaf, it's giving nice and very pointy palm tree leaves. Another type here, it's a fun brush. Um, trick here, consistency the same as for fork, don't do long brush strokes with a fork brush if you want to create a crown of the tree, just pat. Don't go with the long lines. Long lines with a fun brush, it's good for long grass. Next, it's a light blue on a transparent part of the wave here. And it's a different type of the brush. This time it's a round, still synthetic. Personally, I prefer synthetical brushes for acrylic because it's flexible. It's uh, able to control nice amount of acrylic on a brush and I like how brush strokes looking. Also, this brush is really easy to clean from uh, acrylic after your painting done. Next, let's detail a wave. Actually, in the real time, this part taking uh, time about maybe 20-30 uh, minutes because so many details here. It's a reflection from the sun, it's uh, some water pots, it's uh, splashes. Splashes here I recommend to create uh, with uh, dry brushing. And uh, the same as I recommend to you for fun brush, don't do long brush strokes. Try to print, print your brush, touch your uh, canvas with brush and that's it. Don't do long lines. This way, uh, water splashes will look really more beautiful and pointy. I love silhouette technique, can recommend it for very beginning level. But if you want to create a beautiful silhouette uh, with a sunset or with any lights, don't forget to paint reflections on a silhouette shapes. That's very important because if you will skip this top silhouette will stay really really flat as a sticker on top of your painting all shapes here palm trees uh, crowns of the trees stones everything have reflections uh, on a side where it's have shining rays of the light important moment uh, reflections here I did with three colors. First it's a deep orange, next it's uh, just a yellow and on top pointy sparkly um, brush strokes with, with a very very bright lemon yellow. And as a last step it's a tiny glazing from the left and the right with a deep violet to dark corners and the sides a little bit to concentrate all attention on the center of this landscape. Thank you so much for joining me today. Subscribe my channel, join me on my Patreon where you can find real-time uh, versions of all my tutorials. Let's paint together! Join me on a Facebook and on Instagram, I'll be really happy to see your paintings. And uh, don't be shy to ask me if you still have any questions. It was a painting cat. I wish you all the best. Bye bye.